Hello, I'm Marla Middleton Freitag. I am a program coordinator in the Division of Business and I was asked by Educational Technology Services to show some projects that I've used in class. The first one is an animation. I created it using online animation software and at extranormal.com and I used it to create a scenario. Uh, so in an interpersonal relations class I've just covered say True Colors and Myers-Briggs personality type and then I want to show an office conflict and so I use this animation to show this. So the students then watch the conflict and have an opportunity to analyze the conflict and come up with solutions. So let's take a look at this animation video. You are late again. Do you ever get to work on time? My car broke down and I needed to get a lift. What is the big deal? It is only 15 minutes. I will make it up on my lunch hour. Let's get down to work. Do you have a draft of the project done? What is the rush? We have lots of time to get this project done. I would like to explore my ideas. No sense making too many decisions too soon. The project is due on Friday and we have barely started and I am not doing the whole project on my own again. We get paid the same wage. Why should I always be the one staying late each night so we can meet our deadline? I would stay late, but you know I have other commitments. Communication 253 class, I need your help understanding my coworker. Why does he keep doing things just to annoy me? Can you tell me why we cannot seem to work together? What suggestions can you give me so that we can get the project done? I know you will help me. The next project is a project the students created making a video and how this started was that John uh, from the Entrepreneur Center had put up a um, message on, on campus that there was a You Innovate tournament for Canada and it sounded very intriguing so I thought we could do this in our presentation class with the Office Technology students. So uh, we followed the same guidelines for the You Innovate Tournament Canada, but we created our own in-class innovation tournament. So uh, the goal of the You Innovate Tournament was to create a three-minute video showing how you could add value to an object, and then they reveal the object uh, the third week in September, and the students have three weeks to create their, their video and submit it to the online competition. So we had our own in-class competition and then the students had a choice if they wished to submit it to the You Innovate Canada tournament. So we really had fun with this and so I'd like to show a video uh, one of the teams created in class.
The next project was for my writing class. In the writing class, I like to use as realistic applications as possible so the students can connect theory to practice, so they kind of uh, understand why they're learning what they're learning. So for this one, I said about a year and a half ago, rather than just doing pretend projects for pretend clients, why don't we do real projects for real clients? So I approached uh, employers and managers on campus and asked if they'd supply a real writing project that they would give an administrative assistant. And then my students would uh, compete on that project. They compete in teams of three to four. And then we submit the students' projects to the client and they would choose the winning project. The students at one would receive bonus marks and they'd also get uh, certificates for employees of the week for actually achieving the, the winning project. So I approached the employers and then asked they'd also make um, a short video so that we could show the video at the beginning of the student project and that way the students could connect with the client and realize it was real and kind of make that connection. So uh, we um, did these projects, and I'd like to just show you an example of uh, uh, a video that a client made. We did set this to the Mission Impossible theme and had a bit of fun with that, as you'll see in the video. Hello, my name is Monica Farmer, and I'm in the Administrative Assistant for the Medicine at College Faculty Association. Our association sponsors many social and professional development events annually with the help of our faculty volunteers. Many hours of committee work, organizing and planning have gone into some of our special events. We have many faithful volunteers who gladly give of their time for the good of mankind. Your mission is to thank them. Please use your brilliant imagination to honor our volunteers. Some action, event, or token of appreciation is your challenge. You will have an imaginary budget of $500 and you will need to invite or acknowledge approximately 40 persons on our volunteer list. Please compile your idea, establish a budget, and write a letter of invitation to your fictitious listing. Thank you so much for making this project possible. The next project is a project for continuing studies and this is a project where students would be acquiring office skills. So for this project we used the Mission Impossible theme and came up with projects and instead of being uh, writing project possible, this time it was publishing possible and the students did desktop publishing projects. For this they used uh, say College Avenue Publishers was the name of the company and then they did real projects for real clients. So for this project, I enlisted the help of Jenna Williams, and she helped me with the project and created the movies. We created the movies in Windows Movie Maker Live, and here is a short version of what we created. Welcome to College Avenue Publishers. College Avenue Publishers is a student-operated publishing company where students complete real projects for real clients. Since we make publishing projects possible for our client, our slogan is Publishing Possible. Good luck with each of your projects. Each of you will receive a portfolio binder where you'll put your completed projects. Your first project will be to complete a resume so you can apply for a position within the company. Good luck with your resume. Welcome back. Next, you'll be doing real projects for real clients. At College Avenue Publishers, we make publishing possible for our clients. So good luck and have fun doing these projects. Welcome. This is your mission should you choose to accept it. 
you will receive a challenging project and it is up to you to complete the project on time for the client. Good luck. This message will destruct in 5 seconds. Your next mission is to create a newsletter. You will be given the articles and you will need to publish the newsletter using Microsoft Publisher. Good luck and have fun. A question that came up during our Geekapalooza session was, how did we get permission to play the Mission Impossible themed music? Barb Mitchell helped us out with this, and she suggested to buy royalty-free music. At a small charge, we were able to buy music that was very similar to the Mission Impossible theme, and we were able to use that in all of our movies and any movies that we create in the future. Another question that came up in the audience was, did these projects engage the students? And I found the projects uh, promoted the students to be creative, resourceful, innovative, and do high quality work. So I found it to be very effective. I would just like to thank Educational Technology Services. They were very helpful uh, when we were doing these projects. And I hope everyone has fun doing their own projects. Thank you. Thank you.